I just want to clean the house. I kind of feel disgusted. I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but um, somehow when we were gone on vacation, mind you, that was 10 days, um, there's flies everywhere. He's just turning. Oh, there you go. He is on his toes. He's trying. Look. That's crazy. And he got the other piece of foam. We're <laughs> back! <laughs> Daily vloggers again! Today is Monday. And Timmy is off work, and we are headed to ACB. ACB people, time to get some groceries. It's a giant grasshopper. on the car next to us. Ah! We're back from HEB, put away the groceries, and I just want to clean the house. I kind of feel disgusted. I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but um, somehow when we were gone on vacation, mind you, that was 10 days, um, there's flies everywhere, and they're, they're going against this window right here. We put a trap Nothing has been on it. I swear, I swear, I've killed like a hundred flies. Like, I am not kidding you. Like, that's not even exaggeration. And we were doing some reading online, well, we, meaning Timmy, and apparently, like, all it takes for flies to, like, to do the deed, lay the eggs, and for the larva to latch, latch, hatch, is a seven to ten day process. And so, like, I guess there was two flies in the house when we left and we had bananas that were sitting out and we came home they were rotted so I guess that was like their food source and they survived and had babies and now they're everywhere although after killing um, the hundred flies we haven't seen oh, there's one right here on the ceiling I can't reach it but I swear guys like it's ridiculous the amount of flies that I've killed and I am so grossed out by it I am like going to Lysol the entire house after they are all officially gone. We even put, um, they're wanting, they're like attracted to the windows. So we're putting these little sticky fly traps. Look, see, there's two right there. It's so freaking disgusting. We even put one out there um, hanging by the front door or by the back door. Hopefully they'd fly into that before coming into the house. And I understand summer brings a lot more flies, but it's just so disgusting to me to have them in your house. They carry diseases, and they're just nasty all around. Okay, I'm done talking about flies. <laughs> so I'm going to clean the house, and that's pretty much it. Not much going on, and we're just kind of relaxing after our vacation. We decided that we are going to go on a family walk. And just when we decide that, it's starting to sprinkle and the clouds are headed our way. Looks like we're going to have a little storm, but it's definitely feeling, because it's 100 degrees today, so it's definitely going to cool it down and we need the rain. We need it to bod. So here we go. Timmy's got the dogs. And I got this cutie patootie right here. Yes. Here comes the storm. It's really, really cold on my sunburn. Guys, look at my tan. Makes me so happy, except that I'm starting to peel. I feel like a snake shedding my 
layer of skin. Oh my gosh, the wind feels so good. The cup scared me, <laughs> made a weird noise. But anyway, so enjoying our family walk, even though we chose to go right when it starts raining. Check out the sky. It's like evil is clashing with goodness. <laughs> evil and goodness, or how, evil and, what, do do? what is the word I'm looking for? There you go. Good and evil. <laughs> Move, Callie. Can you guys hear that thunder? It's all behind us. So, it'll probably catch up with us, but we're going. <laughs> okay, not so much. <laughs> You never stop. Callie got a haircut, guys. She got her summer haircut. Looks kind of choppy, but it works. For dinner, I am preparing some pan skillet chicken tenders. It's not really frying it, but I'm not baking it, so I guess it's like pan fried. I'm not sure. Some asparagus and some croissants. Yum! Yum! And yum! <laughs> Delicious. Well, dinner was amazing. Thank you, Christina, for the awesome barbecue rub. Barbecue, I don't know. It's some kind of rub. It was so good she made it. She suggested to put it on pork, but we put it on chicken and it was so good. After we run out, I might have to hit you up for the recipe or whatever you put in it. But, um... It's good to be back in the vlogging world, guys, and um, thank you for watching. Make sure you guys check out our vacation videos. There's part one and part two. Part one and part two. Click on them. Make sure you watch them and give it a thumbs up. It was such a blast going to the coast with Owen, and um, it was difficult the first couple days until we figured out to get a canopy to protect us from the sun, but besides that, it was so amazing, and it was much needed. Um... I will be going tomorrow to check out some stores for our giveaway. Bum bum bum. So, if you guys are subscribed to my channel, there's 171 of you. I will be doing a random generator picking, choosing thing for um, my giveaway. And I'm really excited to do that, so make sure you guys keep an eye out for it. Just make sure you're watching. So that's it for tonight, guys. Thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Maybe you'll win the next giveaway. Alright. Bye, guys. Ugh. I'm freaking out about everything not fitting in the car. I know it's something so minor and stupid to be freaking out about, but I am. I, you saw the big box of cloth diapers. I am a cloth diapering mama, but I don't trust the washing and washer and dryers down at the coast. I don't know who's been using them. I don't know what's in them. I don't know what's been in them. I just rather not do that. So we're going to do disposables while we're on vacation. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs>